Charlie Comstock from MRH here with Antony of the San Diego Model Railroad Museum. We're standing in the lobby of the museum here. The, the entrance is right behind us. And uh, Antony, would you tell us a little bit about the museum? Well, the museum uh, has been here in Balboa Park uh, since 1980. Mm -hmm. uh, we're celebrating our 30-year anniversary, uh, in fact, this year. Okay. Um, and it's a great place for kids, uh, families, and if you're a model railroader, uh, some people consider it a mecca. <laughs> kids of all ages. Kids of all ages, yes. Okay. How many layouts are in here? Uh, we have five different layouts. Five. Okay. Yes, uh, everything from N scale all the way up to O scale, and then uh, also a three rail uh, exhibit, the three rail uh, gallery, and then two okay. HO exhibits. Okay. And uh, what's the typical crowd here uh, on a, you know, for each day? Uh, you know, what, how many people do you normally get? Well, uh, any in any given year, I, I can give you a yearly total. We have about 130, 140,000 people. 140,000 people come a through year? the door uh, of the museum. Uh, everything from kids to adults to families to school groups to community groups, um, uh, even uh, groups like the uh, Ronald McDonald House come in and, okay. and experience the museum here. Okay. Do you see lots of re return visitors? Do you think? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we have a ton of people that come in every single day, uh, bring their kids in every day, or they have a special day of the week that they come in and bring their kids in um, on a special day. And then we have, of course, our model railroad buffs that, uh, that come in uh, from time to time and uh, see what's happening uh, as far as the new stuff that, that they've put on the layouts. Okay. Now you've got guests coming from all over the place. We talked to a fellow who's from Germany Yes. yes uh, what's the, which countries haven't you had people come from, do you think? Any? Uh, you know, it would be, I would be hard pressed to say that uh, we, we've had uh, people not come from everywhere, you know, all over the world. Uh, any, anywhere from, I know that on our website alone, uh, people that visit the website, we have over 52 different countries. Uh, the people that have we visited the website looking for information here. And a majority, I'd what say... What is that website? Oh, the website is uh, www.sdmrm.org, like San Diego Model Railroad Museum. www.sdmrm. Nope. sdmrm.org. San Diego Model Railroad Museum. Yes. Org. Yes. Okay. So, so uh, we have, we have uh, roughly, I think... Uh, the last statistic showed, I think, about 26% of our um, of our visitors coming from not just out of the state or out of the uh, um, but out of the country. Okay. So, about 26% of our visitors are international visitors. Okay. Every I've seen uh, uh, Japanese visitors, German visitors. Uh, we've had people from Australia, um, New Zealand. Uh, tons of different places. Now, where, where are we actually located here? We're in San Diego, but we're in San Diego. We're in uh, beautiful Balboa Park, uh, right here in the heart of downtown San Diego. Okay. Um, many of the museums here, it's kind of a cultural we're in the, center. We're in the Casa de Balboa, right? Yes, in, the, lower, downstairs. the lower level of the Casa de Balboa building. So. Okay. Now, how did this uh, museum get started? Where, where are its roots? Well, um, it's... Actually, there's, uh, it started with several different groups and several different organizations. Okay. Uh, going all the way back to like the 1940s with uh, the San Diego Model Railroad Association, uh, which became the Balboa Park Model Railroad Association, I believe. Now, my statistics might not be completely um, accurate as far as that goes, but I know that the roots go back all the way back to 1940. Um, and then, obviously, with the La Mesa Model Railroad Club back in the uh, 60s and 70s, uh, what happened is uh, the La Mesa Model Railroad Club used to be in La Mesa, um, in uh, Nebo Hall. Okay. Um, when, they were, uh, when they lost the uh, building there at Nebo Hall, they were looking for a new place to come. And uh, they partnered up with the San Diego uh, Model Railroad Association here and to create this model railroad museum and then a few of the other groups like the San Diego Society of Inscale and the San Diego Three Railers joined up with the museum to uh, create what you see here today. So they formed a group and then they talked to the city to 
to get the basement here in Castro yeah. Balboa. Yeah, uh, in fact, we just signed another 25-year lease with the city. Oh, that's a good thing. So we'll after everybody's built all this stuff, I yeah. think, oh, the lease is up, and, you know, <laughs> out you go. Yeah, we've been a good tenant for them. Uh, we do all the capital improvements here, and as long as we keep the building up, uh, then we're good to go with the, uh, with the city. Okay. So were there any uh, problems negotiating with the city for this in the first place? Um, I don't believe so. I believe that, uh, what? well, there was actually the Balboa Park Model Railroad Club, and they used to be in, I think it was the House of Charm, and so when it came time for, uh, for us to negotiate with the city, uh, we had already had a connection with them uh, via the uh, Model Railroad Club here in the park. Okay. So when, it uh, when they decided to join forces, I think it was a pretty easy, uh, well, I would say pretty easy, but I didn't, because I didn't have to go through it, but I would say that it was a, a fairly uh, easy pro process. Okay. I was talking to somebody yesterday and they said that this building had burned down and they, it was in the process of rebuilding it that the space in the basement came open. Is there? Am, yeah, am, do I, I have that right? Do you think the, the building did burn? Uh, I I can't remember exactly when it was, but there was a rebuild of the entire building once the building had initially burnt down. And I don't know if that was the reason they made the basement available, or if it was uh, some other reason. But okay. but there was a there was a fire here. Okay. <laughs> I'm here in the San Diego Model Railroad Museum with Bart Bart Glenn. That's correct. Yes, and uh, as a coincidence would have it, we've both traveled all the way from Portland, Oregon to San Diego, and we're standing here in the museum, and uh, Bart, what brought you here? I'm uh, here with my two children, a two and five year old, as well as my uh, parents, and uh, thought we'd take advantage of this uh, damp day to get in here and let the kids uh, see the trains, and mm -hmm. whole families had a great time. So, is there part of the museum that, you've, uh, that really stands out for you? Uh, you know, we've liked all of it, really. Mm -hmm. Just like to see the trains and look at the different landscape characters from the different uh, time periods. And okay. uh, Is there, um, you know, something that the kids especially like? Uh, the kids really like the room back in the back where all the trains are up close and a lot moving at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids like that. So yeah. yeah. Are you... Uh, do you have any trains at home or anything? Uh, we do have one train. I think it's the HO scale. Okay. And yeah, kids really get a bang out of playing with that. So. Yeah. Been told we need to set it back up as soon as we get home. So. Okay, I bet you will after seeing we this. We definitely will, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> okay. I'm talking to Klaus, a visitor from Germany. Yep. Uh, which part of Germany are you from? In the middle of Germany. So you came all the way across the world to see this model railroad exhibit? Or? Uh, not only this one, but when I'm here, I would like to see this. Mm -hmm. Because of uh, just building models, okay. like, uh, actually, and uh, I build a model of the uh, Topkin House, mm -hmm. located in Oceanside. Yes. So I have to have to look here and to, to get new exp uh, ideas or something like this. Okay. What's your reaction to the museum here? Besides, yeah, it's, it's big. It's great. It's great. Yeah. So especially the the, the different areas which are uh, about uh, seen here, you can see mm -hmm. that's a very great. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Are you a model train enthusiast from, you know, in Germany? Or, or do, you, do you like model trains in general? Yeah, in general, yeah. yeah okay. so. Have you been to Miniature Wonderland? Uh, twice. Okay. Twice. How does that, what, what's the difference between that and here? Um, I think the difference is the, the, uh, the guys in, in Hamburg have uh, more, more money, let's say, or something like that. There are, Specialized on, on other features than here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is there one particular layout here that you like the best? Um, that was the one just around the corner, I think. That, that was the, the La Mesa Club. That yeah. That's so the, that's the, what's the green, over here. The green with the green color. Yeah, uh, that uh, models the, the Tehachapi yeah, Pass. Yeah, that's very great. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think so too. Okay. Any final comments? That's. So, this is the second time I'm here in San Diego, and the second time I visit this uh, this uh, exhibition. And I think when I come the third time, we'll also be here. Okay. So have to see okay. this. Well, great. Well, uh, welcome, and uh, hope you have a great time here. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. We're in front of the San Diego Model Railroad Association uh, layout here, and I'm talking with George. You have here, Saul. And, uh, George, uh, obviously you like trains because you're standing here. Oh, yeah. So. I love trains. Yeah. You know, is there anything about this place that uh, brings you here? 
Uh, I just love the La Mesa Model Railroad. That's 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 my favorite, you know, layout. Uh, the scenery is is so realistic, and uh, I love HO scale, and I love Southern Pacific. SP uh, is definitely my favorite road. Okay. So, um, is there anything else about the La Mesa that really attracted you, or? Um, I like the people. You know, I met John Rosart uh, way back when, when I first started uh, uh, being part of the club, and um, I just, you know, I love the hobby. Okay. So you, know, so you, you, you used to be a member of the club. Though. Yes. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, I'm I'm going to be back a new member again. Okay. Of the club, I've been away from the hobby for a while now. And I uh, pretty much got back into the hobby. Well, I'm glad to have you back. Yep. Well, we migrated over, and now we're standing in front of the La, La Mesa layout, the, the Hatchby Pass. Uh, well, and uh, this is what you said you liked the best. Yes, this this area right here, Caliente, uh, climbing up the hill is just this. The scenery is so realistic. I, I just this this is my favorite part of the layout. Mm -hmm. And then I just recently moved back home and. You know, I had to come down here and and see what they've done. It's amazing on the work up at uh, Tehachapi. Uh, you know, all that up there used to not be there. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty much what you've seen was when I was part of the layout, this is what you've seen. Besides a couple um, yards in the back that were hidden, but this is what, when I was part of the club, this is pretty much it right here. Yeah. The last time I was here, I think maybe nine years ago, mm -hmm. This was about it. They hadn't finished yeah, the they were working, cliff yet. They, they had just finished Illman right there, and they're working, they were working on towards Bakersfield. That was when I left the club. Okay. Well, I'm here with one of the younger rail fans in the building. Your name is Izzy? Izzy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're how old? Three? Yeah. Do you like trains? Yeah. Ah. Which trains do you like the most? Do you know? Mama, I like the one on the bottom. Oh, the trains that are in the um, gift shop. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any trains at home, Izzy? Yeah. He has a ton of trains at home. A ton he of loves tra trains. So, <laughs> Brio trains or... Do you have Thomas? We Do you have like, Thomas. Do you like yeah. Thomas? I think, um, I think we have nine train sets at home. Wow. So. <laughs> So you're going to be a model railroader when you grow up, huh? Are you going to play in a model train museum when you're older? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Thank you for talking with us, Izzy. Okay. <laughs> Bye now. Well, this is one heck of a museum. There's five layouts in here. There are you know, thousands of square feet of model trains. It's unbelievable. The layouts range from... Uh, uh, the three rail layout, which is for fun, to the La Mesa Club, which is very serious about accurate prototype modeling. And yes. uh, if you get the chance, I'd recommend that you come down here and check it out. Thank you, Anthony. Well, you're welcome. Come and see us. Okay. Bye.